Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pot. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Guys, today I want to address this really disturbing story that was hit in the headlines a couple of days ago. The headline was Mom Stabs Young Children Killing Daughter in Custody Battle. And she recorded this video after the act that was on World Star and was trending everywhere. This was a very tragic situation and had a lot of different problems that maybe could have prevented this situation from happening in the first place. But first, I'm gonna play this video that the mother um, recorded of herself after the act. Let's get it. My children is dead. I'm done. I'm done with life. And it's all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. I'm done. I'm so there you go. You guys heard it for yourself. So the story is the daughter didn't make it and her son is in critical condition. But what's really disturbing about this whole situation is the father, Jermaine Roberts, sued the mother of his child in April for joint custody, alleging that she was not allowing him to see the children and was not stable or providing a healthy environment for the kids. A hearing was to be held this month, but he sued back in April. And you would think that if there's claims like that being made of children being in an unsafe environment, then the court system would act with the quickness, right? But this really brings light to a bigger problem, a problem that I've talked about many times on my channel and a problem that's voiced on um, a lot of other platforms too, is the way these court systems favor women something like this is just bound to happen and it probably happens a lot this is just a very tragic situation that made it on paper people assume that the mother is always the fit person out of the two parents to have custody of the kids the father had tried to get custody of the kids he knows he can't just go there and take his kids from them, even though he fears for their safety he has to follow the law but between April and now, this happened. Now, one of the kids is dead and the other one is in critical condition. A very unfortunate situation, a very unfortunate story. And what I hope is that, of course, change can come to the court systems sooner than later. Now, guys, here's the sick part about this. Story is the reason why she did this to her children is because she knew that she might lose custody of her children because her husband had enough evidence to prove in court and that was supposed to happen this month the court date was set for this month he had enough evidence to prove that she was an unfit mother and so what did she do she went and did this terrible terrible and secondly men just need to be careful in specific, careful with the type of partner you pick. This was a very, very evil act. And some people could blame, you know, mental instability, whatever you want to call it. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. There are too many people out here walking around who are unstable. There are too many people out here walking around and people get into relationships and having children with women who they're, they're not sure about where they're at mentally. Just be careful, man. Be careful who you associate yourself with. First of all, wrap it up. But overall, be careful who you associate yourself with. Be careful who you lay with because no man wants to be in a situation like this. Listen, man, as always, curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you guys for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.